Hello, welcome back to Let's Play the Campaign of Ponage of Empires. I still just can't get comfortable with saying that, so let's not say it, let's press on. We got up to level 6. In an effort to cut war costs, we're attempting to take control of... <laughs> Retznomyad, one of the largest weapon manufacturers. We have an army ready for your orders. Well, that's useful. So, yeah. In this episode, we attempt to cut war costs. Engrossing, isn't it? We attempt to cut war costs by going to war with a huge army. Fine, let's do it. You may remember last time, the enemy actually didn't fight back. We basically had to just build up a huge army and exterminate them. Hopefully, we'll have something a bit more interesting to do this time. Clicking the thumbstick resets your view to the starting location. Well, that can be handy if that's where your base is, I suppose. Okay. So here is our enormous fleet. We actually don't have a base. And have a quick scout around, make sure that's the case. Yeah. We don't have a base or any workers with which to build one. We just have this fleet. So let's select everything and move out. And it looks like it's going to be as before. Basically, all of them just sitting there waiting to be attacked. Which does seem kind of silly, in all honesty. So I'm basically just going to micro my little fleet all over the place. I mean, the enemy here doesn't show any interest in trying to um, produce more units, but I might as well get rid of their ability to do so should they choose. But look, it's just, as with the last level, they're just kind of sitting here. So this level should be over pretty quickly. If it is, then maybe we'll do another level. And maybe one day the enemy will fight back. I mean, they do actually fight back in the first couple of levels. Okay. Eliminators our fleet. Not as easy as I thought, then. Alright. But how can I do it differently? Since we don't have any workers or anything to produce more units of our own. Uh, I mean, what's that? That's not a worker, is it? No. No, they're all they're all combat units. All right, well, I don't see how I can really micro them better than I already have. Let's just plunge in. I mean, I suppose what I could do is take this guy and wow, that eliminated almost all of my units. Um, and I could pilot that big, powerful one myself. Once I've eliminated all of the others. Yeah, there we go. Downloaded the Trial of Undead Legions. Alright, so I'll take control of this thing. And I'll try and wipe out the entirety of the rest of the army by myself. I mean, in theory, it should be possible. But I'm not hugely optimistic about it. Why are they going nom nom? Whenever I shoot them, that's extremely disturbing. Can you tell what they're meant to be saying? It does sound like nom 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 to me. Again, don't need to worry too much about the buildings. I mean, I assume I'll need to oh, piss off. I assume I'll need to take out the buildings sooner or later just to complete the level. But but they're um, they're showing no signs of trying to build anything. So. For the time being, um, I'll focus on taking out the stuff that can shoot at me rather than the stuff that's just minding its own business. Even the Bomb workers kill. will shoot at me, so better deal with them, I suppose. So, basically, the key to this level seems to be doing it all manually. You know what they say Bomb. about if you want something done well. Although, evidently, if you want an RTS done well, don't leave it to an indie developer. <laughs> That's probably not fair, but really, you know, in an RTS, one of the one of the uh, necessities of employing strategy is that, you know, your opponent will fight back. 
Oh yes, um, you may have noticed the message popping up at the bottom there. Retro City Rampage is finally out on the Xbox. If you have a gold Xbox Live membership, it's 600 points. Half price. Oh. Um, I've only played the demo, but that's actually, I thought, a really good deal. 600 points. I mean, it's next to nothing. Anyway. Um, so, basically, just continue exterminating the stuff. I mean, I know the enemy units will attack me here if I get close enough, but really, you would think the enemy commander would be building up forces. It seems very odd that there'd be all these barracks and other structures and actually none of them ever produce anything. Seems like a serious design oversight. And frankly, oh. if the levels keep going like this, if we play another couple of levels where the enemy doesn't actually participate, I may just quit Let's Playing it because it'll be boring as shit. It'll be boring as shit to play and undoubtedly twice as boring as shit. Boring as twice as much shit to watch. Alright. So, just keep chipping away at these marines. Oh, extra marines from up here. No! Oh, I'm terrified. Well, I'm, I'm mildly anxious, because they could potentially land enough hits to do me in, but it doesn't seem like a real menace at the moment. And presumably just wrap up these, yeah, these workers and turrets and things that are bumming around down here. Okay, so they did eventually chip me away to nothing. So at least now I have some idea of how to proceed with this. I think the best bet is going to be um, essentially do it like this. Take direct control of one ship at a time and then each time one gets destroyed, take direct control of another ship. Wow, that was cool. Because they're all bunched together, so Jesus. That was quite surreal. Very short range on this type of ship, evidently. Yeah, I'll basically just keep circle strafing. It's like playing Doom, only not entertaining. I mean, admittedly, this game is only 80 microsecond points, but even so, considering gems like Scapegoat and Dead Pixels are 80 microsecond points, the price is no excuse for such a shoddy problem. I will continue on a little bit more and see whether it actually shapes itself into something resembling a game, but for the time being... Oh, for fuck's sake. For the time being, this is just extremely dull. You know, the, I, okay, so it's a twin stick shooter now, but the thing is, it's meant to be a real time strategy game with twin stick oh, shooter gosh. bits. But this would be dull even if it was a straight, pure twin stick shooter. As it is, there's just no no strategy in it because the enemy won't participate, and the twin stick shooting is pretty clunky and boring. So, oh god. Oh god, it's just so difficult to actually hit anything with these crappy weapons. Get back! Right, that turret is winding me up, so I need to hit that. And yeah, I've taken one of these weak ships and almost wiped out probably half the enemy fleet here. And remember how easily these ships were destroyed when I just commanded them as an army and sent them into battle. They were almost entirely wiped out by the first batch of enemies. I mean, I'm not saying I think the AI should be as good at fighting as I am, but it's um, a little ridiculous that you can fail a level with a complete army and then succeed at it with one unit that you control yourself. This isn't um, a real-time strategy with occasional twin-stick shooter components, so much as a rubbish twin-stick shooter that pretends to be a real-time strategy game, but fails to actually do it. Alright, come on. One worker at a time. Here we go. It would be nice if my units packed a little more punch here. 
Just chipping away one worker at a time like this is pretty tedious. It's actually making my eyes hurt. Concentrating on these unpleasant visuals. Uh, one more unit. Okay. But that that guy with the spade that I shot just then seems to fire some sort of triple shot. So maybe if this ship is eventually destroyed and I have to take control of another one, maybe I'll choose a spade guy to control. I'm just kind of jousting with this turret here. So I'm finding it easier to hit that way. Okay, now I have to take another unit. After destroying almost all the enemy units. Here we go, little spade guy. Um, select him directly. Yeah, he, oh, extremely short range though. And he's very, very slow. Oh god, I can't be doing with that. Alright, let's take one of these buggers again. They're uh, much faster. Rubbish weapon, but better range and much, much faster movement. Alright, just circle strafe around the marines. Seems to be the best way to deal with most of the enemies here. Okay, and the last one is always a problem because it's difficult to shoot one enemy. Okay, almost done. Bit more. Gang of spade guys. Some kind of undertaker's convention, presumably. And they don't have the range to fight this particular unit. Okay, did the voiceover guy just say delicious? That's pretty unsettling. Come on. Look, I have millions of units where this one came from. You're not going to win. I mean, clearly I'll have to earn my victory laboriously by just gradually abrading your forces. I mean, talk about war of attrition. But that is clearly the way. Alright, well let's take the big ship now. It's a bit slower, but hopefully it'll be enough to finish off what remains of the enemy. Oh god. Come on. Better rate of fire, better range. Just all round a superior unit. Not as fast, but you know none of them are particularly fast, so I don't feel too bad about that. And actually, its lack of speed makes it easier to hit stuff that I'm circle strafing around. And I'll just chip away at this headquarters here. Maybe that will end this torment if I just take out the headquarters. Maybe I won't have to exterminate the entire enemy army. God, come on. I suppose I could bring down the whole army to do this. Nah, won't bother. It's done now. Just, um, the army doesn't seem to be able to fight, but it can take out buildings. Alright, take out this turret. Alright, um, now I'll just see if there are any more enemies around. Looks clear. Oh no, one more. And now I'll just exit that. Select all units with LB. I'll move them all here. You can see on the mini-map in the bottom left, they're all moving down at their various speeds. And now I'll just steam them all straight in towards these buildings. Finish everything up. It's a bit quicker than doing it myself when, when the targets can't shoot back. Everything? No, there's another HQ. And a couple more barracks. Wow, good. We get to enjoy this game a little bit longer. Well, wasn't that a treat? <sighs> I need to reinvigorate myself with a swig of tea. Alright, well, I don't feel ready to take on the next level yet. So I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to rejoin me next time when we um, take on another large arms company that's about to launch a preemptive strike. We have to break through their lines and establish a base. That sounds like it might conceivably be a slightly more interesting level, so try not to fall off the edge of your seat as you wait tensely for the next episode. Thanks for watching, thanks for enduring Ponage of Empires with me. Come back next time and see what comes next. Bye for now.